Welcome to class, everyone. We are here behind the scenes of a brand new premiere that's going up right now in six minutes. It's going to be about your happy vegan declaration day. We're going to show some examples of painted shirts. And remember that you were born vegan. All you have to do is just return. You never wanted to hurt animals, so just go back to your roots. I'm behind the scenes here and I'm going to be trying to comment on as many comments as I can. So let's have a look at what we see here. Don't be vegan phobic is one of the things that I read right away. Absolutely. Wonderful. Don't be vegan phobic. Don't be cruel to animal defenders. Be kind. Just like you know that racism is wrong and homophobia is wrong. Don't be vegan phobic. I'm not sure what to say about this. You're saying, okay, here's somebody saying, a. don't know what to say to that. If you wait, if you go vegan, you will die of malnutrition. Who on earth told you that? What you need to do is go and Google. Nimai Delgado, who is an amazing vegan athlete. He is so powerful. He can pick you up with like three fingers. He's full of muscle. These incredible lies that you believe are distributed by the meat, dairy, and egg industries who lie to you constantly because they want you to do what? What do you think they want from you? That's right. They want you to buy their products. So they're lying to you. They just want your money. They're not interested in the truth. They don't care about the animals. All right, what do we have here? Deleting comments. Okay, I don't know who you are or how you think you're deleting comments. I don't even know what you mean. I am deleting comments if I see lies and um, I probably should have deleted that lie. Where did it go anyway? If you go, I don't even know. Maybe a moderator already deleted that. Okay, what is this? If you are really against violence, say free Palestine. This is a vegan classroom. We're not talking about mathematics right now. We're not talking about basket weaving. We're not talking about anything except the animals. This is about the animals. They have no one to defend them. Um, vegan phobia would be the least thing I do. I don't know what you mean by that. Don't be vegan phobic. Okay, we address these. Let's have a look here. Um, she's deleting comments. I'm not, I haven't deleted comments yet. I just literally turned on the camera, but I do have some teaching assistants here who are deleting lies because, or, or people that are rude for no reason. Vegan sucks. Why are you here, Julie? Yoo-hoo, Julie. You can leave. Get up. Walk towards the door. Put your hand on the doorknob. Turn it and walk out. Go on. You don't have to be here if you're not ready. Certainly, if you're not mature enough to be vegan or mature enough to open your mind, you can absolutely go. So why are you still here, Julie? What's that? That's right, because you're actually interested. You are curious about veganism. You're here to get your 100 clicks. Thank you for staying. I'm glad that you're staying, but now be polite. Thank you. Vegans cause herbivores to starve. Nope, this is a total lie. I don't know where on earth you would get an idea like that. So let's put you in timeout for lying. Bye-bye. Um, I made sweet potatoes with carrots, baked apples in the crock pot. It was delicious with some rice on the side. That sounds delicious and great. And that sounds vegan. I hope that you are vegan and I hope that you will help us here to teach veganism. That would be great. Um, vegan teacher can't take criticism like North Korea. <laughs> um, I'm just here on my channel teaching the facts. I don't make up the facts. Facts are just facts. They are something that comes from science. I'm just here to spread the news, the facts that animals feel pain and that the environment is being destroyed because of animal agriculture. That's what I'm here to do. Um, Okay, we're, I don't know, I feel like we're going in a circle here. Let's see again. Okay, always check the ingredients. Yes, animal rights activist Tom. Check the ingredients and only buy vegan foods. Um, what else do we have? A body has been discovered. Okay, I'm not sure what you mean by that. But um, let's go back to what being vegan is all about. In a nutshell, vegans don't use animals for food, clothing, entertainment, or any other purpose. Because vegans believe that animal lives matter. Veganism is a matter of social justice. Okay, so be kind and be vegan. 
Now, what do we have here? Somebody wrote, we ain't born vegan. Yes, you are. You're born vegan. You're born as somebody who drinks your mother's milk, and that's vegan. You're not born with a chicken wing in your hand. You're born vegan. You don't have any dead animals in your tummy when you're born. Then what happens is later in life, unfortunately, your parents start to feed you dead animals and eggs and some milk that comes from another species, which is not supposed to be for you at all. Don't drink cow's milk. Don't steal from cows. You are born vegan and all you need to do is return. There is no reason to take in any animal products at all. You can be 100% healthy being vegan. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has clearly stated that. And there are millions of examples of healthy vegans around the world, including some of the poorest people and even those who run in the Olympics. Olympic athletes, the strongest man in Germany was vegan, didn't consume any eggs, no milk, no cheese, no dead animal body parts, no salami, no steak, nothing, only plant protein. Guys, here comes the BS vegan teacher. Hmm, wonder what that stands for. Best and special vegan teacher. Oh, thank you. What else we have here? Uh, you're under arrest for forcing people to go vegan. <laughs> I'm not forcing anybody. You walked into this classroom yourself, silly goose. Vegan McBanana, could I be a moderator, please? It's always been my dream. Well, Jack, if you want to be a moderator, first of all, change your name to vegan. Uh, have the word vegan in your title and then teach for a while. Teach for a while until you gain the confidence of the moderators and then they will recommend you. And you don't even have to be a moderator to teach. Just go ahead and keep teaching. Eat what you want, vegan teacher can't tell you what to do. Um, you can eat what you want, of course, but you can't be an ethical human being or a kind person. You can't be kind and hurt animals at the same time. It's just not something that makes any sense. Oh, um, what else do we have? I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, here comes the music. So this is the beginning of the premiere. We've got the countdown going here. And today we're going to be talking about painted shirts. We're going to be talking about Bella Vegan Dog. I'm going to be encouraging you to keep going. And this is the time where we spam all of our vegan foods. So I'm going to put my cursor here. I'm going to go here and I'm going to put a bunch of vegan foods and hearts. And then I'm going to copy that to copy. And then I'm going to paste it. So we, this is where we paste all of nice vegan foods. You can go up to 200 characters there. Spam vegan foods. Whoops. Spam vegan foods each time you hear. Whoops, I can't. I can't type. You hear the opening music. There you go. Each time you hear the opening music, you can go ahead and spam vegan foods. Ta-da! All right, let's see. I'm gonna get some other vegan foods this time. Maybe I will get a, pear, a peach, um, eggplant, a carrot, an avocado, a kiwi, an apple, and some corn. All right, let's see that. Copy, and let's paste that. There we go. Happy Vegan Declaration Day for everybody who is newly vegan here. Whoops, I went over. Okay, there we go. Thank you for spamming the wonderful watermelon. All right, let's show some more vegan foods. Great. Okay, here we go. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds. It's going to start soon. We have 153 people watching. Vegan, because I give a shit. That's what it says on this t-shirt. I buy my t-shirts secondhand because I think it's good for the environment and I have no problem wearing somebody else's clothes. Just wash them and they're fine. I paint these messages on them because I believe that the front of our shirt is a place to have like a billboard that's like free advertising for something that's important to you. Some people wear shirts that say Adidas or Gap or Bench. I prefer to write a message that is meaningful, that might actually change the world and can spark a conversation. This white shirt was actually a man's shirt that was really too big for me. So I cut off the sleeves and I cut open the front of it a bit. And 
in one of the skits I did on TikTok, I pretended that God had sent me that shirt. <laughs> Here's another one that says vegan because paying for the rape, the kidnapping, sadness, and murder no longer tasted good. To me that, oh, hi, Bella. That's really the essence of the dairy industry and why you should never buy milk or cheese that comes from cows or yogurt. Always get the vegan versions. Being vegetarian is not good enough. You must be vegan. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to everybody who is vegan. If today is your day and you've got your 100 clicks, make sure you write down the date because it kind of creeps up on you. And then later on you say, oh, actually I don't know the day I became vegan because you're thinking about it. Right now you're thinking about it. Anyway, if you have an old t-shirt and some paints, you can write Happy Vegan Declaration Day on a shirt and paint a little decoration of a flower if you want. I am by no means an artist, but if I can write and so can you, then you can paint. Just do it gen gently and slowly, just a little at a time. On this shirt I painted and the animal holocaust. I know people see this and they think sometimes, wow, that's pretty extreme, but I don't believe that it is. If you watch any videos of what happened in World War II, and you compare it to what we're doing to so many billions of sentient beings right now, you will see there's no difference. Everyone wants to live and be with their families and have their freedom. What happened in World War II was atrocious. Nobody belongs in a prison for crimes they never committed. Nobody belongs in a gas chamber. Being vegan is a moral baseline for everyone. You can do it. If I can do it, you can too. Just Google vegan recipes for help. All right. So while Miss Katie keeps talking over there, we're going to go back to the comments here. And I'm going to see if I can respond to some more of the things that you are saying. Uh, we said It says here, end the animal holocaust. Thank you, vegan Leon. Vegan Chris says the holocaust never ended for the animals. So let's end it together. Be vegan. Good. My dad is downstairs cooking sausages. I'm sorry to hear that, Abby. There's a lot of parents who don't know yet what really happens to the animals. Remember, it takes 100 clicks until you become vegan. It has to hit your head. It has to penetrate into your heart. You have to understand it. Your dad just doesn't know better. I mean, it's possible that your dad really doesn't care, but most likely he doesn't understand the incredible amount of suffering that goes on. And what you can do is you can help to teach him. So you can go to a site like this one called don'twatch.org and you can ask your dad to watch that. It's only six minutes long. Tell your dad that Miss Katie suggests that he watches that to learn what happens and then you as a group should become vegan as a family. Why hurt animals if you don't have to? I only drink plant-based milk, says Vegan McBanana. Soy, oat, almond, cashew, rice, coconut, peanut, and flax milks are just some of the dozens of milks there are to choose from. I have never tried peanut milk. I wonder what that, that, that tastes like. That's so fascinating. I mean, any, any uh, vegetable, I guess, can give you some milk. It's really interesting. You just blend it up and um, squeeze out the excess and just uh, make milk with it. So cool. You can Google how to do this, by the way, on um, anywhere. Just Google how to make vegan milks. What else do we have here? Uh, no, we're not going to be prom promoting the suffering of any animals. Fish feel pain. We don't want to exploit them. Just like you wouldn't want anybody to grab you with a hook in the side of your mouth, and yank you out and murder you. Don't hurt fish. So here, Vegan McBanana is saying, this is about veganism, not the Israeli-Palestine conflict. Thank you for saying that, Vegan McBanana. The animals do not have anyone speaking on their behalf, and that's not right. Here we have Bella. Whoa, look how cute she is. Bella, love you. All right, let's continue. Um, vegan teacher you want every single human to be vegan right can you respond every single human is born vegan we are born drinking our mother's milk and not 
We're not born with a knife in our hand, ready to murder an innocent animal who never wanted to die. We're all born vegan. It's not our fault that we became non-vegan. It's because our parents put dead animals into our bodies and they fed us all kinds of other products, such as honey or such as milk that was stolen from a cow or cheese that was created from that milk. You can go back to your roots and be vegan. It's very easy. Simply put veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds in your shopping cart. Peace begins on your plate. So open up your heart and be vegan. Just choose healthy vegan things. Don't bully your dog. Um, don't bully other animals. Don't bully animals at all. Do not pay anyone to murder them and then feed them to your dog. That's wrong. Bella will die within the end of the year, mark my words. No, well, she might die from something. She might get hit by a car or she might have a disease like any other dog can get. But so far, she's healthy. She's doing great. And she's been vegan now since August 2017. I support you guys. Keep trying. Thank you, Lucifer. Um, save Bella vegan dog. How about you go and try and save some animals that are actually in danger right now? Like in Africa, we are in the middle of the sixth mass extinction of animals and you're worried about a dog that is sleeping on a king size bed. What is wrong with your head? Mm, world is better without vegan teacher. And yet here you are. Isn't that fascinating? Fascinating. You know, you could be anywhere else, but here you are staring right at my face right here in my classroom. You walked over here, you opened the door, you sat down in the beanbag chair. Yep, there you are, eating the free carrots that we supply here, eating the free cucumbers, and yet you're like, oh, I don't like this place. Yet here you are, Ethan, silly. Nobody believes you. You absolutely are dying to be vegan. You just haven't admitted it to yourself yet. You were born vegan, just admit it. Come out of the closet already, Jesus. Bacon might be delicious, but it's wrong to eat bacon because you're murdering an innocent animal that didn't want to die. That is a six-month-old pig. They are shoved 200 at a time inside cages against their will after a lifetime of suffering on a factory farm. They will never see the light of day except for the day that they are murdered, put on a truck, crammed together, not fed, not given any water, sometimes for days, because they don't want them to pee and poo on the truck. These animals are suffering so much. They are so sad and bewildered. They are in pain. They are being whisked away in boiling hot conditions and in freezing cold conditions. It's awful what we do to the animals. It's despicable. Humans are a disgrace. We must protect animals. Thank you, Vegan Jay, for showing all these delicious vegan foods. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Thank you for saying that to James or Games79 says that to JL. Yeah, if, I'm sorry if I missed it, but yeah, congratulations. Haler, the legend says, I watched The Game Changers. Good, watch The Game Changers. That's a great idea. That is a movie that teaches us all about vegan athletes. Yeah. Watch the let's write the game changers on netflix about healthy vegan athletes good idea you need to be vegan says vegan mcbanana the animals are being tortured and murdered and you are part of the problem if you aren't vegan be vegan save the animals yeah thank you so I wanna thank everybody for showing up here today. Thank you very much. I also wanted to show you a little bit about behind the scenes here. This is what my comment section looks like, well, my own page of comments, where I try to um, copy and paste a lot of the different things here about ethics. You see, I talk about vegan food not being expensive. I talk about different vegan facts, about farming, about how you should never buy free range eggs, and about uh, the food chain, which is basically telling us that we do not need to harm animals. Fish belong inside the water. Why would you want to change their fate? Fish belong inside the water. Be vegan so they don't end up on your plate, etc. So thank you again for being here, everybody. 
And remember, if you haven't yet seen don'twatch.org, go ahead and Google that, watch that. Coming up on the screen, you're going to see a bunch of other videos. Click on them and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet done so. And press the notification bell. Hang out with us. Be vegan. Be kind. Be proud of yourself. Return to your roots. You were born vegan. Thanks for being here. Bye for now. Do, 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 do.